The aim of the 12 month placement is to get the young person into an opportunity that they enjoy. Um, we do find if they enjoy the experience then it's more likely to work. We try and look for a suitable job match. Um, we're flexible and we, we promote them to learn new skills and, and abilities while they're in the placement and make it as real life as possible so that the aim is to get them ready for the real world of work. Uh, while I was still at school, uh, my careers advisor told me about a programme that would be able to um, get me into work. Um, before that, I had a conditional offer to do photography at Glasgow College, um, but I decided that this would be something that would be a better opportunity, something I would enjoy a bit more. So when Megan um, began the programme, she was introduced to a job coach and um, they were there from the beginning. So we would just listen to Megan and find out where she wanted to be and find out how we could support her to get there. Uh, well, at the beginning of the, beginning of the programme, um, we were looking at what kind of things I'd like to do. So Megan began a vocational profile, which takes six to eight weeks. And during that time, she committed herself to some, um, carrying out some job tasters. So it's to let her explore different areas of employment. I'd, I'd mentioned that I had a, a great love for books and uh, I, found, I ended up getting a placement in the library. So it's also important to um, work in partnership with all the different agencies and support services such as financial inclusion team, social work team, education, employability groups um, throughout the whole process. Um, initially Megan would have been linking in with financial inclusion team um, for an example just to kind of assess her benefits at the beginning and see how she could manage her benefits and, and how better off she would be financially in employment. When Megan first joined us in the library she was obviously very very quiet. She, she loved reading however um, and could talk about books Eventually she, she, she bonded with the rest of the staff, she became part of our team. And working with the people that I'm working with have definitely brought me out of my shell. A lot, I'm a whole lot more confident um, now than I was when I started. So the partnership working is probably meant for Megan that it's reduced a lot of her anxiety and stress and being able to feel make her feel comfortable about knowing where to go and what advice to take and all the different supports that she's she's had has made her feel included and um, valued and had the confidence enough to take part in training, you know, and commit herself while she's in her placement to complete an SVQ. Uh, I got the chance to do an SVQ and business admin, um, which was, I thought, quite a good opportunity. Um, I'd, and I did get a lot of support with that. Um, I've just finished that and that's definitely, I feel, going to open up a lot of different opportunities. So I guess the job coach's role is to keep providing encouragement and reassurance and link in with Megan as, as often as she, she wants. We, she knows we can be contacted at any time, but generally we will call into placement at least once a week and monitoring reviews are carried out regularly just to meet with the staff and meet with Megan and make sure everyone's still comfortable and confident of how things are moving on. We recognise that all um, the young people that we support may not have that support and guidance at home um, so we are there to kind of bridge that gap, offer um, as much support as we can, we're there to pat their back when they're doing really well, tell them how a good job and how proud that we are of them. Um, but again, we're also there to pick up the pieces when things go wrong and let them learn, move on from it and put it down to a bad day. Um, and the next day we start fresh and, and start again with them. And the difference we do see in these young people um, is just amazing. Um, the difference in their confidence. It's given them purpose and structure and a routine. And for a lot of them, it's a reason to get up in the morning. Some of the young people that do come on the programme um, they can't look you in the eye when they first meet with you um, to, to the end result to seeing them going out into the world of work um, on their own and the confidence um, is just enough to tell us that, that we're doing a good job um, within the programme.